Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. I'm down at the print farm today. We're doing a little printing down here and we've been working a little bit more lately on the lap diner. And some of you are familiar with that. If not, I'll fill you in here real quick. Right now we're printing some parts on the AMAT here. These are the adapters for the USB camera and these are flood holder adapters like this one right here. So we've been printing those and doing a lot of assembly. I'll go ahead and run up next door. You don't want to see this mess. We've moved some of the assembly from up at my house and in the bonus room down here to the print farm in this room adjacent to the uh, print room and as you can see we've been doing our soldering and assembling different parts and stuff here these are the table mount helping hand units here that are assembled those boxes have the kits in them there are about 10 or 12 of them over there ready to be sealed up so they can be shipped out and basically just a lot of different parts we do some soldering down here and heat shrink and some of the corrugated assembly stuff and then the rest of the assembly is still up at the house but we've got things going at both ends the only problem with that is that i get ready to assemble something down here and one of the screws or nuts or bolts that I need aren't down here, they're up at the other place, so I have to go up in there and get them, bring them down here. Then I get ready to assemble something up there and one of the parts I need, some of the heat shrink I need for that is down here. So I'm working to get another area set up here where we can move all of the assembly down here into this same building where all the parts will be there and then when parts come out of printing they can go right into assembly into that area and be available for them to use speaking about the lap diner this is the lap diner in brown i've been printing this one and i'll open it up here for you it's not assembled, it's just uh, the hinge is in and this piece needs to have the screw put in it for the cup holder, retractable cup holder. But other than that, these are coming out pretty good. So we're going to be printing a lot of the brown, the brown is the first color that we're going to go online on Amazon with because we're primarily pushing the lap diner for outdoors activities, hiking, camping, canoeing, kayaking, hunting, where you're in the outdoors and have a campfire going or you're cooking wanting to eat the lap diner will be a convenient way to enjoy your meal so we'll be promoting that doing some marketing on it and building an inventory of the brown color and then we'll look at some other colors but we felt like brown would be a good color for the outdoors not too flashy and that's what we're doing with the lap diner we've already made a number of parts for it as you can see over there on the bottom shelf we have a lot of the orange blue and red and also brown different colors over there i don't know somebody told me that orange was too halloween looking or something so we'll save the orange for halloween or for Tennessee football season but like I said we'll be pushing the brown right now and I'm geared up to uh, start 
printing a large quantity of the brown ones. And we did get the time down. We've worked with it and printing on the Tronixy XY2 Pro printers. That's what we're printing these on. And the reason we're printing them on that printer is because it has a 255 by 255 print bed and that means that when it's printing on that print bed there is a lot of surface area around it and I found that by doing that the heat is more consistent on the bed from the center to that outer area when you get to the very outer edges as it was when we were printing these on the A nets that just have a 220 by 220 it was just too close to the edge and we were having the corners trying to pull up on us but now that we're printing on the Tronixes the XY2 Pros that extra millimeters of bed around the perimeter allows the heat to be more consistent and it seems to have solved that problem so we'll keep doing that and like I said we've got the printing now down to 9 hours and 31 minutes so printing at 9 hours that means we can print the two parts and the basically all of the parts needed to make a lap diner in one 24-hour period so that helps a lot because if we're running the six Tronixy printers that means we can produce six a day or approximately 42 a week which isn't a tremendous quantity but it will help us build inventory and then we have six of the 330 by 330 a net a8 plus printers that are right over here and they have a, a much larger bed they'll also do a good job printing so we can take those four printers and add four more uh, lap diners per day into our production with that and like I said, right now, the production of the lap diner through 3D printing is limited. We plan to probably print, you know, just, uh, you know, a few hundred, not a tremendous quantity, but we want to get enough of them printed that we can put them on the market, see how they do. And if they're pretty well accepted, then we're going to go to an injection molding process on those parts where we can make hundreds a day uh, using injection molding instead of the smaller quantity that we're limited to. So that's the plans for the lap diner. Another thing we have these uh, electronic scales here and up at the house we use those for shipping but we also use them down here in the other room I showed you on the table we had about a dozen or so boxes that already had the packing material in them and we were putting the correct quantity of each part in those boxes when we're finished before we seal them up we weigh them on the scales and the weight should come out exactly the same for every one of them. If it's off the least little bit, then that indicates that there's a chance that we have failed to put one of the components in there that goes in there or we've put one too many of something in there and it's over that weight so the scales are kind of a quality control check you know that final check before we seal the boxes up and get them ready to go 
and we're doing more extensive quality tests on everything now since these are the first shipments that have been going out we've been doing a lot more extensive quality control testing everything trying to make sure that no one has a problem that everything goes out and is working properly that's one of the things that we've got going on that I thought I would pass along let you know that I'm not goofing off down here so until the next time Happy printing from New Tech Inventors.